Study the information given below carefully and answer the question that follows. There are seven members in a family P, Q, R, J, F, G, H and H. P and J are husband and wife. So what we have over here is P and J are husband and wife. So we don't know who is husband, we don't know who is wife. So we'll keep it as it is. R is the only brother of J. So R is the only brother of J. So R is male. Okay. Q is the only daughter of P. So Q must be daughter of P and J. Okay. And Q is a female. Then R is the husband of F. If R is husband, so F must be the female word. Okay. G is mother of R. Mother of R means G must also be mother of J. Okay. G is mother of J. Okay. Next. P is the daughter-in-law of H. P is daughter-in-law that means F. So J must be male and daughter-in-law means it must be the husband of uh, sorry H must be the husband of G. Okay that is male over here. Uh, she is mother so she is female over here. Okay so this is the family tree that we have drawn. Okay now if X is the brother of P then what is the relation between X with Q. So X is the brother of P that is male. Okay relation between x and q x is over here q is over here x is the maternal uncle of q option a okay now based on this uh, figure we'll answer the next questions also how is r related to p let us see the diagram r related to p so r is like uh, p's husband's brother is r that means r must be brother in law of p so answer is option b who is the husband of G? Let's see the diagram. Uh, over here what we have is husband of G is H. So answer is option B. Refer to the graph and answer the following given questions. Okay. So what is the approximate average of number of scarves sold by store N in 2004, 5 and 6 together? So N is the light blue color. Okay. In 2005 what is uh, it? 230. In 2006, it is 330 and 2004 they want. Okay, it is 310. So we have to find the average. So what we'll do is we'll just add all these three. Okay, 380 and we have to divide it by three. So what I'll do is 300 plus 300, 600, 700, 800, 840 plus 80 is 840, 920 divided by three. That comes out to be three zar, zero zar, six zar point something, three zero six point something. So answer has to be option A, three zero seven because we want the approximate average. What is the difference between number of scarves sold by store M in 2003 and 2004 together and number of scarves sold by store N in 2005 and 2006 together? Let's check out first find out for M 2003 and 2004. So M okay in 2003 how much it is 390 plus what is 2004 170. Do not add it right now fine. We want to find the difference between the number of scarves sold. So for M, we have find out now what are the scarves sold by sold by N in 2005 and 6. Where is it? It's over here. 2005 is okay over here by N 230 and 6 it is 380. So minus 230 minus 380. 390 minus 380 is 10 plus 10. Okay. 170 minus 230 is what? Minus 60 minus 50. So difference comes out to be 50. Answer is option A. In the question below is a statement followed by assumptions. You have to consider the statement and the following assumptions and decide which of the assumptions is implicit. Statement. Please note that the company will provide accommodation to only outside candidates if selected. A condition in an advertisement. Assumptions. Local candidates would be having some other arrangement for their stay. Company plans to select only local candidates. Now second assumption is not implicit because nowhere it has been mentioned that only local candidates would be selected. Assumption over here is that local candidates would be having, first assumption is local candidates would be having some other arrangement for their stay. So this assumption which is there, okay, this is valid or implicit, okay, because it has two meanings that the company may not provide accommodation, okay and local candidates have to arrange on their own okay or the company instead of giving accommodation can have give some other arrangement like give housing allowance or give them contacts or something like that so in both the cases both the things can be inferred from the given statement so this one which is there this which is there okay 
it is implicit. So only assumption 1 is implicit. Out of the 5 given figures, 4 are similar in a certain way. One figure is not like the other. Find We have to find the odd man out or which does not belong to the group. Okay. If you observe all the diagrams, option B or the second figure, answer is option B. It is out of the blue. It is check out. All are pointing outside. These arrows which are there, they are pointing outside. Only in this case, two arrows are pointing outside and one is pointing in the inside. Okay. Rest, if you can check outside, 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 outside and outside. Only this arrow which is there, it is pointing in the inside. Determine the missing number. Immediately on looking, you should be able to tell this is 9 cube. This is 8 cube. This is 2 cube. This is 3 cube. This is 5 cube. Okay. Even if you are not able to guess over here, by looking at this, you should be able to. Okay. By looking at 27 or 8 also, you should be able to. So, what we have actually over here is 6. Pay attention how I am writing. 6, 7, 8, 9. Then, what are you having? 0, 1, 2, 3. So, in sequence, we have 0, 1, 2, 3 or consecutive numbers. But, sequence is from here to here you go. From here to here you go. From here to here you go. So, over here also, what it is going to be? 2. 3. So, next has to be 4 over here and 5 over here. So, here already we have 5 cube that is 125. So, here it has to be 4 cube that is 64. Okay. So, question mark stands for option D 64. In the question, two statements are followed by two conclusions. Let us see which of the conclusions logically follows. Okay. Only a few papers are rings. That means some of the papers are rings. Okay. All the solids are rings. All the solids in the world are rings. Conclusion. Some rings are paper. Not necessary. It is not following over here. Conclusion 1 does not follow. All solid are paper. Uh, no. Some rings are paper. Some rings are paper. It follows. Really sorry. It follows. Some of the rings are uh, paper. Some of the rings are papers. Already given over here. Because few papers are rings. So, some of the rings must also be papers. Correct. Also, you can draw the. This is true. We have to check in other Venn diagrams also. Let's check the other one. All solid are paper. All the solid are paper not possible over here. So, this does not follow. So, first one is true in this Venn diagram. Let's check the other Venn diagram. Few, only a few papers are rings. All the papers in the world, all the rings in the world. Okay. All solids are rings. All the solids in the world. Fine. Some rings are papers. Some of the rings are papers. All the rings are papers. That means definitely some of the rings are papers. So, this follows everywhere. Okay, even in the second Venn diagram, the first conclusion is following. Okay, all solid are papers. Here it is following, but here it is not following. So, it is wrong. So, only conclusion 1 follows. So, answer is option A. Which number will come next in the given series? 1, 3, 7, 15, 31, some difference is 2, difference is 4, difference is 8, difference is 16, difference but obvious has to be 32. So, 31 plus 32 comes out to be 63 answer is option D.